Our second recipient as an inductee this evening is the late Clarence Flash Olson. Please welcome his son, Bill Olson, and daughter, Terry Walsh. tonight was that he was not only a top-notch teacher and coach, but that he did life well. That modern-day philosopher, Bobby Mober, wrote those exact words in his support letter. Yes, Coach Olson was a lifelong and versatile athlete. Remember all those baskets he made off the corner near his opposite school? Remember the cross-country marathon he won in the over 50 age bracket? Remember the sailboat regattas and later golfing dates, the track and field locket he won in high school, and that scrawny, long-limbed body making a statement on the football field. Remember all the trout fishing and skeet shooting and hunting expeditions right out of his own backyard. Remember how he loved to watch anything with a ball on TV. And notice that I did not mention he was a great wrestler because the sport of wrestling was up and coming in the country when dad finished college, and he was asked to start a wrestling team when he took a high school physical education teaching position at Southwestern. He studied wrestling and painstakingly figured out what to do, when to do it, and how it must be achieved. And he loved every minute of it, and so did we. Yes. He was an amazing coach. It is obvious by the turnout here tonight and all the letters, video speeches, and support that has come pouring in for him. Bill Olson here had a lot to do with wrangling the troops and coaches Tom Priester and Walt Thurno in the back there um, have been trying for many years to make this dream a reality. Thanks to all three of you. Also, to my cousin Steve, a big shout out for shooting the video that Billy directed. If you haven't seen it, check it out on the website. It's, it, uh, Randy said it should be out pretty soon on our website here for the Sports Hall of Fame. A huge shout out to Greg Freed, Craig Zabrowski, Bruce Janowski, and Jeff Swan for taking the time to be part of the video. And one last thank you to Randy Anderson who coordinated this huge effort tonight. I want to touch on a different side of my dad. He not only believed in all the male athletes, but he really encouraged my girlfriends and myself to be involved in cheerleading and gymnastics and later on mainstream sports that we were finally allowed to be part of. I truly believe as I watched Dad create a low-level balance beam that I used during the summer uh, months outside and during the winters in the basement, that he had, he had something to do with women's sports coming of age. He cared about every one of us deeply and wanted the best for each. He would truly be overwhelmed and delighted that female high school students can now join the wrestling teams, like Skyler, who won an award tonight. Dad's life coaching was a gift to all present here tonight. I know it has been said before, but he wanted each of us to accept who we are and then move out from there to fulfill those dreams that we were placed on earth to achieve. Looking out at the crowd, he would not be disappointed. My husband Richard and daughters Wendy and Laura could not be here tonight, but they share this love and an admiration for Dad. He saw the best in each of them, and I'm so happy he got to spend time with Wendy and Laura and know them a little before he passed in July 1998. He is so happy right now, and he's sharing this moment with all of us Grandma, Fireball Nance too. My humble thanks and appreciation to each and every one of you for being players in this part of Trojan history. They said he was the right man for the right job at the right time. But those who knew Flash Olson knew he was the right man for any job at any time. He was truly a man for all seasons. Today people want to know the secret to success. I hear it all the time and I laugh. 
to myself because Flash Olson knew the keys to success. They were no secret to him. Be the first to arrive, the last to leave, and work harder than anyone else in between. Perseverance is the difference. He was always the first to arrive and the last to leave, and I know that because I was with him on many of those occasions. <laughs> he would mend equipment, lay out strategy, tape ankles, give pep talks, take care of all the little details before a big contest. And at the end of the night, <coughs> and those nights got pretty late, when everything had been put away and everyone else was long gone, he would finally turn to me and say, Will, it's time to turn out the lights and go home. Pride, sacrifice, and courage. Those were his watchwords. Pride in yourself, pride in your team, pride in your school, pride in your community. To sacrifice selfish concerns for the greater good and the courage to carry it out, no matter what the consequences. He didn't just say those words, he lived them every day. And it was that authenticity that people admired and respected. He led by example, <clears throat> he led by example, and because of that, people were eager to follow. These were not just games to him. They were how we measure ourselves in the vastness of time. Points of light that burn brightly and pierce the darkness. He treated everyone with respect and dignity and wanted them all to succeed. There was one guy who came out for wrestling. He was slow and weak. And he had no natural talent or athletic ability whatsoever. But he came to every practice and worked hard every day. And he got better and perfected his skills. And by his senior year, he made it to the finals of the sectional tournament. He lost that final match right at the end and my father was heartbroken. And Coach Walt Thurno, seeing how upset my father was, grabbed him by the elbow and leaned over and whispered in his ear, Flash, we got a lot of wins out of that scrawny body. <laughs> that was Coach Olson. He first instilled in you the belief that you could do it, and then he did everything in his power to help you do it. And he did it to every single person he ever came in contact with. And those people remember and have taught their children some of those lessons. And they, in turn, have taught their children. Until people who have never even heard the name Flash Olson know something about pride, sacrifice, and courage. He came across a still pond and threw in a stone and the ripples from that stone go on forever. On behalf of the family and Coach Olson's many loyal friends, former students and athletes, and especially my mother, Nancy Cass Olson, who would have cherished this moment, we thank the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame for honoring him. And now, turn out the lights, Dad. It's time to go home. <laughs>